lads and ladies around the world, welcome back to our Genshin Impact session as a whole, where we are going to react to version 4.6 special, a special program regarding, uh, as you may see on your screen, Alakino, <laughs> Nave, and I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite insane. Um, and turns out we're going to learn much more about her, and we're also going to see what is in store for this, ver this version in 4 points, which I'm sure is going to be packed <laughs> even more packed than 4.5, even though I was a uh, chill kind of patch. Uh, yeah, after that, we are going to continue when it comes out. Um, still have to finish three endings for her specifically. And we will move on to uh, Shiori's story quest. I don't know if the chat event in Mondstadt is still available. If it is, then I'll happily try my <laughs> so at uh, petting some cats because uh, that would be fun, I suppose. And yeah, and um, that's all we're going to do today. And uh, I think it's going to be amazing. But yeah, if you guys and ladies around the world uh, like this, the video on YouTube and want to see more in the future, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Also, activate the, activate the notification bell, like, and share with your friends, your surroundings, whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, tell me what you thought about this version 4.6 special program. Are you excited about it? Uh, what are your, well, most interesting aspects of this special program? And um, yeah, tell me all about it in the comments and I'll happily answer uh, when I'm available, obviously. <laughs> yeah, uh, without further ado, further, further ado, guys, sorry. Wow. Uh, I guess that. Um, there's no time at the present. Let's uh, let's start this reaction, the version four point six special program. Here we go. Uh, just before we start, I'm going to click just a second, but I'm also going to analyze and tell uh what I thought about this special program as a whole, and what are the little trinkets and little uh crumbs, breadcrumbs that uh, they are going to throw at us regarding this uh, new version when it hits. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's get the countdown. Three, two, one, go. It has you know been millennia since the fall of Emuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth this? of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians Remuria? believed yeah. their king yeah, Remus <laughs> would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of Do the you want to now? However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Uh. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the God cycle King. of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! All right, here On go. occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. 
Something has come up. I know. Since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Sino, you're back. Was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of oh, project. Oh, what's project that? Stusia? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate <laughs> meeting cool looking to boss. presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. <laughs> Look at the design. Wow. Transfixed. Everlasting at the moon. You know she was Pyro. Dire Bell Moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any Who's idea that? what you're doing? <laughs> you're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone Renee? else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Hermanubis? I want you to become like, the next king Nubis, of but the with Romano? Romano? <laughs> I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Why are they... Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass wow. with tasty water. We all make sure Except. it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do what hope you decide is... to tag along. Are we going to fight Holly? There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No like demonstration she's, uh, of loyalty shall go unrewarded. It's a bit, um... And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Worlds of Flame, the Crimson Knight. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female hey, traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone. Yay. Yo, yo, welcome. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree there as well. that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any yeah, convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Avet. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the hey. House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And Damn. although he's not <laughs> a member of the House of the Hearth, We've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. <laughs> what up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, wow. what's going on? <laughs> my bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown yeah. on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on hey, the most go. recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated yep. by the Nave. Uh, it Bell takes Moon. in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a yeah. variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that mm, we already so know from Nave. Uh, is me. there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, the is still right hiding <laughs> many unsolved mysteries. So Oof. how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, mm -hmm. okay, first, I, I want to yep. hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. 
Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Ruthless. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly yep. refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming yeah, from. Yeah, that. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, Uh-oh. Hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons kids and are often a lot of scared pressure. speechless by her stern yeah. attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, yeah. tough, and patient yeah. than other children who are their age, you know? Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sad, uh, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this <laughs> way? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, <laughs> oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer oh, in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, story quest Ignis mm. Purgatorius, will Ignis be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to okay. spoil anyone's so, gameplay experience by saying too Arlequino's much about story her quest. quest, okay? But I do hope Quite that travelers that. will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced mm. her entire I'm story. I'm kind of sure that <laughs> yeah. at the end of this said new story quest, will also introduce uh, a new we'll feature, have the, the focused Lisa. experience. Mode. Now, if you Boss. use the feature while playing Arlequino's story Arlequino. quest, Elf then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations form. being allocated to other quests. Mm. So, hopefully, this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, oh. this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Intriguing. Let's have a drill. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Transfixed. Yeah, he's going to rip the word uh, thunder. <laughs> Whoa! It's like floating in the air with this her one wind, fun. one winged angel, like um, like a uh, Sephiroth. She's so cool. <laughs> Children. I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Ballerina of death. So effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Asked. Yo, oh, are you gonna be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. Right. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been oh. healed. Yeah. Yes, right? very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other okay. elemental infusions. Uh, and while she's in this state, her normal uh, attacks uh, will consume uh, a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Yep. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> yes. No, wait, I get it. Wait, no, so wait. Uh, uh, Arlecchino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see that. I mean, uh, that and that brings us to our elemental skill. As well. Our Lakino skill doesn't there just are some, damage some enemies, enemies that can, uh, it also applies the bond a blood death bond of life directive to people, any so. enemy that it hits, which blood will damage directive. them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She yeah, can't you know. <laughs> regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay okay. in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlecchino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, wow. while Arlecchino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> needs therapy. <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlecchino I mean, even has a special kind say of like movement that. whenever sure. she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah. Look at this. And for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. That's oh, it's incredible. about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. Right. You guys ready? Ooh, let's let's do it. Yeah. So exciting. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlecchino, <laughs> the knave, and Linny will both enjoy the father a trap rate boost. And the child. The I mean, all new the real star child, Polar and Crimson no Moon semblance will also become semblance. available. Yes. Also, the Wanderer and, and Bijou will return in the second and phase. And we did so the sure Wanderer and Bijou again. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. They're coming back. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Dave. Do you have any well. other news you'd like but to I don't share? Know if be able Actually, to I do. Pull Let's discuss after the new weekly election. boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, right. the knave, new we boss. Were as just I said before, about how the knave shows I knew she was going to be a boss. To family members and to outsiders. There's also a road bus as well. Special circumstances, she oh, will reveal mm, another side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a <laughs> new, new knave? Yes, ready. I am ready. I'm so ready. Yeah. That is some incredible designs. Oh, the Harbingers, that's where, I mean, yeah, I think. Ooh. Listen to that. Where's she? Wow. Not, Not even Senora, though. Or, or IP Sergeant Senora mains, but. So the knave is accepting challenges <laughs> but, uh, now? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. She's so oh my, elegant, yeah. but also. Super, super, super dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. She didn't have a feeling about it. Feels even more badass with why is the badass the badass attitude <laughs> <laughs> it's not so simple to see the name's other side she'll appear normally at first as if she were All giving you an ordinary training lesson Harbingers. waiting to counter your attacks <laughs> yeah it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range mm. Mm. yeah it feels like she's implying that yeah but there's a window of her hand <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality is like. Attack. She doesn't want her you children crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. 
If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies Net. to you, all it's your attacks it's nice against you will be using all of the, uh, But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Yeah. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of creepy <laughs> being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction <laughs> here. Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers yep. will be wondering about this. <laughs> The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate yep. in the challenge. But, but now we have a quick challenge oh. feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. I see. Yeah. Oh, that's as cool long for, as travelers for are adventure that, uh, rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge haven't done the story quest by going yet. to the adventurer we want to challenge the boss. The domains tab, selecting Trounce domains and pressing the challenge. quick challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. We still have to be uh, nice uh, AR 40 or higher. Yeah. Do so. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks yeah. like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact Ooh. sets will become available in version 4.6. Of Fragment of Harmonic and Whimsy and reverie. Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned okay, for more so information. Two cool. new artifact sets. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so <laughs> short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. <laughs> okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Old mystery, eh? And for some reason, New story Sino's got mixed too? up in it. Hey, Sino? how did you know about that? I can't wait for that, too. This picture is right there. But his oh, act one right. was actually coded. <laughs> Oops. So act two well, was Well, Sino wanted to Ella. investigate personally <laughs> because or. someone involved in the case has a very this guy, unique identity. Um, and the two of them and share a close and connection. Oh, um, like there's some serious shenanigans going on. That's right. Is this a so case serious. where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good for this guesses. New, new story but quest, I'll offer you one clue we'll that you probably wouldn't be able to guess to otherwise. Do. Yeah. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in That's the pinch. great. It's awesome. So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. <laughs> Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sand. Secrets lurking. In sand. due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information to share. <laughs> wait, really? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, yes. really? wait, wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Oh, Damon, please. please. <laughs> he can't keep getting away I with this. Do, though. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Yeah. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> Ooh, the transition is, yeah, on the Chino. So, of course, um, I don't need to, I don't need uh, to, to stay on this uh, redemption code. All, all the free redemption codes that are going to appear. In the special program since uh they are already obsolete so yeah well it's fired rather so just have to move on but already uh i'm i'm going to do the um, the all in all details and analysis at the end but this is already packed <laughs> we new story quests already all right let's Time to go back. We got two new story quests, Sino, and obviously uh, Ollie Chino. Hey, welcome wow. back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of our Lakino <laughs> and the House of the Hearth. So Absolutely. why Absolutely. don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Yeah. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Yeah, see? <sighs> Though, 
Would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this yeah. is this well, is what I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Okay, now that you've mentioned yeah. it, there's definitely really small. more to this village than meets the eye, right? See? Yeah, I think we're focused this on one thing so here. This is a, where the kingdom of Ramuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious yeah. and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, then I mean, this wait little town looks uh, a whole lot bigger. Now there... that's a neat trick. <clears throat> oh, cat. Anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. What? Oh, my God. Like that's this? amazing. Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> As Aaron Talking mentioned cat. at the beginning nice. of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, symphony one with yeah. wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm I I actually I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Wow. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the yeah. cat. That the whale remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. Is the whale trapped in the deep due to some dun, dun, dun. I don't know symphony so ley line distortions? So powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remoria. You'll be able to Oops. pause the melody within to, the to realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places lore, where it stopped. I think. So oh, these cool. powers will let you like interact it's more connected with specific to objects in the ruins. Music. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during yeah, the adventure. Yeah, solving puzzles. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits yeah, in the so recess see, yeah. of the faded This castle, is going to be a new world boss. Silently the immortality and glory of a great civilization. Boss it awaits a that's warrior who would dare and challenge dress. the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, marble. that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, I'm so hyped this for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the statue yes. of marble and, and boss is going to be the great job with introducing it. That's great. Yeah. Damn it. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote We don't even island? be surprised unless question. travelers unless, who um, have already completed the third the new world act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon of Freedom, one will automatically Archino unlock a teleport be, waypoint be in the village of Petricor. Yeah. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right. That's all uh -huh. the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new okay. style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. Rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and all roll. Right, let's all take a <laughs> short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, uh, before we move on, um, we're going to explore uh, the village of Petra Chor, so I'm quite excited about this, and also learn more about the Remorian dynasty and Remoria and King Remus. And uh, yeah, there was a whale that um, tied to some musical line distortions, or I don't know what was that, maybe some puzzles that we have to solve. But yeah, that was, um, I can't wait to, to explore. Still have to finish a new veil though, but uh, on new time, I suppose. Yeah, all right, let's move on. Let's see. Let's have a look. Welcome back, Ooh. everyone. Hey, <laughs> okay. I hear that a musical e. tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> okay. Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Of I remember course, him. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, right? That's oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Both Hutao and Shinyan performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, All right. Iridescent, Arataki, <laughs> rockin' for life, toured the force of awesomeness, really gives up a feeling of rock and roll. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the theme of this concert <laughs> is about names. life. Specifically, Ito, though. Puppy. 
who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so mm. cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yes, it will be. And uh. here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical okay, instrument so... to our travelers called <laughs> no, it's... The, Night Wind the Night Wind Horn. Wind Horn. So if you enjoy playing music, we're going to have really lots of instruments by the end of this game. As, uh, I think. Game, be sure to check it out. We're going to have our own orchestra. Performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life tour to form some awesomeness? Oh, what that's <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme Ooh. carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the oh, this is going to be funny. Together. Wow, those keys look really unique. This is this key. Yeah, they really wow. are. And I really the like second that. task is called the Trillion Trinket Troll. Because you'll, 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 that three times you'll be able the trillion to trinket troll, the trillion listen trinket to good music trinket as well. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock I mean, at least music if we don't make any uh, venues. So, Travelers do any will be wrong helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. Unroll pearls? <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite help. fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. Ooh. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean Let's anything say. if I say, wind trace, seekers and oh, strategy wind trace has finally arrived? Yes, I love Wind Trace. Nice. And and yeah, it can get a little tense yeah. at times. Wind Trace is so <laughs> well, that, fun. The new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before. So this but there are a few process new of a hundred. Yeah, so when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled traveler, to the captured, surveillance traveler. zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their timeout, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, oh. you're permanently deleted from you know the what? game. <gasps> the, um... That does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Hiders oh no, are each really... round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising oh, and concealing they're, they're having good. The rebels' goal is to Hunters are, devices, will be even more distressed after that. Capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels oh, can work rebels, together sorry. to repair these devices. <laughs> the hunters and defeat. hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. Wow. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. Yeah. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected ah. risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, absolutely. Be. And in another event, travelers will receive Especially a rather strange condition. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regispine. Uh, with a pyro regispine? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regispine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovician, and a jade plume terror yeah, shroom, sure. and the millennial pearl seahorse. Go for it. Uh, Won't be there you to see it. heard me the first time. <laughs> I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Ran Matlon, Ranjit? and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having Natlin. his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have. Oh, getting some plans. breakfasts for that makes Natlin now. Sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait. Okay. Did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the version is live, all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce the gameplay. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. All right.
got it. You got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've just got the guts, difficulty. then you can take on fearless difficulty. Oh. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust yeah, the number of negotiation for strategies. It. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, Ooh. your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. That's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Oh, Vibro Crystal, crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems this like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Yeah. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that means that so is much incredible. coming from you. Yeah, well, yeah, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG <laughs> event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Shibu. Battle Mode will also receive Always an update, on. so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an it's overflowing Harold. mastery event, so you can more oh, easily Lord train mastery. up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I, yes, you agree? I was well, say, I, I agree, agree too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the... The, the last, last redemption, redemption code! code. Yay! <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, I saw, I saw as well that, uh, we're going to be able to get for ourselves, um, a free copy of Goro. A free translation, let's say. So, to anyone that doesn't have a thorough fix, then um, make sure to do this event to get yourself a free translation. Well, to get yourself this character for free. Just, uh, you just have to play the event. Amazing. Almost at the end then. We're presenting some oh, information hey, about hey. welcome. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look. Welcome back, System everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. Ooh, First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena Teapot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase That's any great. missing components. I wonder why and this hasn't been done. Wow. Yeah. That Before, does I mean, actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The avatar yes, system will is. also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as that a is also display. amazing. Oh, that was fun. oh, that mask is Hanachi Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You'll be able to oh, get so and there's Arama, much of the, uh, and the Thunderbird and Rue. Oh, Arama. And more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been hey. updated. Its markers <laughs> will be displayed so cool. on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate really? all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradicate. <laughs> 
<laughs> finally. <laughs> Eradication. Yeah, finally. To the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go music! Yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third music. Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album Eternus, yeah. features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related oh. content. Also the Hoyo Mix team. Yeah. Yeah. Music is my favorite. So <laughs> oh no, y'all. It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. Oh, I know, yes. I know. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, it's not so. Is, is there anything Man. else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, <laughs> be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yes. I, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, yep. but I'm so, <laughs> you guys, so excited you guys did guys well. to experience this concert. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So, oh, wow. um, oh my gosh, it's that's be amazing. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind, Wind Trace Festival, Festival because as well. I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things a coming ton. in version yeah. 4.6. So I a ton hope of everyone's awesome things. excited. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yay! Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. It's just such guys. a great time. <laughs> So wow. thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So I'm helped with how to smile on my face this whole time. See you guys later. Bye. 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 All right. Go. Let's go back. Go back. Um. So I'm going to pause. Okay. Um. So uh, first thoughts about this uh. Brand new special program, although uh, it went live not today, but uh, three days ago or two days ago, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, what is uh, surprising is the amount of, of events that are going to occur um, during this version 4.6. And we did get some um, breadcrumbs for Natlin coming I mean, I mean, next year, so I'm quite excited about that, to be honest. And yeah, uh, let me let me have a look. First off, first off, um, I'm going to lock the titles right now, because he said something here. It has been millennia. It has been millennia since the fall of Remoria. Oh. Yeah, it has been millennia since the fall of Remoria. So yeah, we know about that. We read. <laughs> yeah. And its history has long faded into the mists of mythology. Yeah, but it seems like we're going to this uh, lost city, lost um, civilization now. Can't wait to go, it, to go there. And we're going to see also um, the village of Petrachor as well. It's been mentioned a lot of times. Okay. So here we have. I don't. I don't really understand what that is. Well, it looks like a door. It also it also resembles um resembles um Inconomia. Even though it might be underwater, but I don't know. Uh, all these pillars here and there. And we have that statue here. 
might be one of the guards of the Romorian dynasty. Although I'm not quite sure, but I think it is. Alright. Then. What do we have? So here we have something that um, is quite similar in Fontaine, obviously, but um, it was related to the Nazi Centro's order. So yeah, like that. All of this uh, geological, I mean geological, a structure there and there. Also, quite innocent, everything that is supposed to happen during uh, the discovery of Ramoya. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's look at uh, the trailer again. Trailer! On occasion, right. we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain okay. familiar faces will be missing there? from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. And since so it this is really to Cyrus sign us our request. I deemed it essential to inform you all. Act two. It was a great plan, shrouded Anubis. in secrecy. We all we gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. This the is the, the boss. The he sent someone to tell me I'm uh, needed for some sort of speak. project. Project Stuja? Okay. Participating in the plan will lose a lot of sure. members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would really be cool designed for like Centaur. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, yes, yeah. absolutely right. necessary. I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Of course, we have uh, the Nave <laughs> in all of her glory. So she works with um, a form of life that uh, simulates her arrow damage, normal attacks, punching attacks. In the charge attacks as well. An order once given cannot be oh, rescinded. Or Anubis. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding sure. the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You are my Who she want to sit from a glass be the next king out. I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told, so I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't this intend to back world. down. I don't want to I disobey an order would. of your father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Okay. So, two worlds of flame, and some night fades. I have to go back. Watch. Down. Uh. So, um. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. We hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. She has a, an idol, um, 
idol, an idol animation when she sits, uh, where she sits on this uh, kind of arrow throne. They enjoy participating in activities like that. And the feeling is mutual. So the children, house of the hearth. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces be missing from the crowd the next time similar found. Hmm. This is uh, right into Remoria here. This whale, this whale, I don't know what it is, but I'm quite uh, curious to see what this thing is and why it is like crystal, yeah, white, I don't know. Really interesting to see. So, this room kind of reminds me of, um, of, um, well, the opera a bit less with the, um, what's it called? Um, Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinale, right? And, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if that's a similar invention or, I don't know, maybe it's just a design for one part of the, the city, lost city. Um, so this is related to Sino, so for his act two, uh, something has come up. Since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Sino and Glory. Oh, it was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. Ubis <laughs> statue? We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. Is it uh, King Deshret? That's how I gained my power. Look at the design of this boss, though. Hour, the old man's been putting the pressure on me. Send someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Hmm. Look at that. This is a boss. <laughs> I'm sure that the statues that we saw before are like the gods or yeah, the mobs to Remoria as a whole. They have they have um this uh, symbolic uh, head piece. Wait, I lost uh, I I lost some of the uh, my lot here. Project Usa. Hmm. Participating, participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. So, the town of Petrichor, but what they said is that um, it is not <laughs> only that. Oh, it's not towns, to the village. But quite, quite uh, cool to see that all of its joy. I can't wait to end what this village is and what it will for us. Look at that. This is giving me uh, aerial vibes. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe uh, Kingdom Hearts vibe, Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't know. The attack pattern is. Really cool. Uh, please keep something. Oh, I hope not. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. 
Fate we would present him in no arena or Nuvelet. Oh, yeah, so it, Nuvelet, right. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nuvelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. So, uh, this is one of the puzzles related to the books that we can uh, get in the city. Submerged city of uh, Remoria. Wait, wait, what's, what's some stuff here? All right. The nave fourth of the Tui Harbingers, a poised, ruthless diplomat. Uh, to the children in the House of the Hearth, and she's their feared yet dependable father. I want to, I want to listen again to that. Music. Transfixed. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. All right. Now <laughs> let's go back. Um, an order. Wait. So an order once given cannot be rescinded. So I'm Anubis here. A new character that's currently is going to be um well, available version 4.7 i think could be wrong do you have any idea what you're doing looks like it looks like someone is looking at them uh sure or it's mean Hiding the very person the father has been trying to find. So, Nave is trying to, Alecino is trying to find someone. But, uh, either Lini or Femine that is uh, hiding this very person from Alecino. I don't know why yet. Yes, I really, I really didn't mean to drag anyone else. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. Traitor. Lino's Star Quest might, might be uh, quite interesting. I understand some more things regarding all uh, Jin Deshrit and how maybe there's a last change <laughs> in all of this uh, in I know and from Nubis are actually finding it, fighting it out just to see who is going to be on top or who is going to be triumphant. I don't know. Final was chosen. It was not the only one. So yeah. Um maybe Sino was chosen to represent to be the new uh, king of the desert. That Hermanubis was actually number one. It. I don't know if we're going if we're going to see Dea or not. Like me to return, like me to return my power. <laughs> I don't think Sino will uh, do this. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this right of rules. So yeah, uh, Hermanubis and uh, Sino are fighting it out. In order to see um who's better. Yeah, this confrontation. And there are this one this guy over, over there. This girl as well. Maybe they're overseeing the, the duel. Who knows? The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to be the next king of the house, yet you seem to have different ideas. Mm. 
Not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. You, Ernay and Lynette, trying to find your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with, <laughs> filled with tainted wood. You're trying to frame us, Father, please. I'd like to learn why they are fi fighting. Oh. I'll make sure it's strained of all impurities and return to its finest form. We accept our punishment. Why? Good things come to children who do as they are told. I do hope you decide to tag along. We're here to help them. <laughs> there are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. But why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration wait. No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. No sacrifice shall be in Is it this good? Alright. So from what I can gather from this whole uh, trailer is that um, Lano is going to have to fight for his right to be, well, better than Hermonibus in the position of uh, somewhat of the king of the desert. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? And, um, well, you can look here, but yeah. Uh, Three siblings from Nayland um, are hiding. Maybe two of them are hiding someone from the Nave, and since they hid this certain someone, they have to pay the consequence. But like they were framed in doing so, and she also said that. Um, I don't know if it's from Nay or Lini, but I think well, it's supposed to be Lini. It's going to be the king of the house. About because he also mentioned that this is going to disrupt the bonds that they have as a family. So yeah, this is interesting. I want to learn more. Um, and of course, the new boss uh, that is uh, in the Remorian lost city civilized of course uh Alicino's new world boss anyways uh let's have a move on all right so first of all here to all right um so that is already what i uh, read before and she's a pyro user. Right? All manner of reasons. Oh, look. And um, they were knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger yeah. of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first I Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it says here, solitary bale moon in a sky of fading stars. Sky of Tevat, the skies of Tevat are fate to begin with, so fading stars as well? I don't know. But not, it might not be good. Not, not, might not be too good. <laughs> so, as we suspected, 
she's going to have a new story quest that's related to Car. her. Yeah, and it says Ignis Prodatorius. Don't uh, Prodatory by Flames. All right. Well, good to see what what it's all about. Is it something? Uh, after that, the focused experience mode. What is this? Um, use a picture of an arch in a story quest. Minimize the number of times that you will be interrupted by characters. Press the chase. Oh, okay. So. If it is in focused experience mode, uh, we won't be disrupted by other quests, maybe in the locations that um, the story quest is focused on. So, better story experience. So, that's great. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how many times I was um, stuck because um, I had to do a certain uh, quest before I, I could <laughs> move on to. Um, the story quest that was, or the Archon quest, was being provided. But yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, right. Have a look. So, from her fighting style, what do you see? transfixed. So, as you can see from her fighting style. She is. She's. He uses side chi chin float with a one this one winged. Uh, one winged, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> really? Oh my God. Really? Um. It really reminds me of Sephiroth. I don't know why. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she glides. Yeah. I want to read this. So, this is related to her Bond of Life uh, system. So, let's see. When Alicino's elemental skill strikes opponents, it applies blood debt directives to them for a period of time. Okay? When Alicino uses a charge attack or her elemental burst and it hits an opponent with blood debt directive, she will absorb and clear nearby blood debt directives. This will grant her a bond of life worth a percentage of her max HP. Okay, so first you strike an opponent with um, her elemental skill, which will activate the blood debt directives to them for a certain period of time. Then, if you use a charge attack or her, uh, her elemental burst, and hit an opponent as um as a blood death directive. You will absorb. I mean, she will absorb. And uh, here, all the, the opponents that have uh, blood death directives. This, in return, will grant her the bond of life, which is um well, a certain percentage of max HP. At this point, Alecino enters the Mask of Red Death. This is the state. Uh, when the value of a bond of life is equal to or greater than a certain percentage of her HP. Okay. Um, so it has to be equal or greater than a certain percentage of her HP. Where her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to deal higher damage which cannot be overridden. Okay. So first you do her skill. Skill that will implement the blood debt directives to all to the opponents that she hits. Um after that you can use a charge attack or the, or ele an elemental burst in order to uh I mean and you have also to hit the 
your opponent for that oh that has a uh, blood directive blood dead directive so that uh, she can absorb all of the blood dead directives from nearby opponents that in and of itself will make her have a benefit for the ball of life that is worth a percentage of her max HP. Then uh, you will enter the Master of Red Death state, where the value of the bond of life is has to be equal or greater than her than a certain percentage of her HP. But you will you will be able in your normal charge in plunging attacks to deal arrow damage that should not be overridden. Yeah. Yeah, that is going to be some real p firepower. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, and there are, there are some mobs in the game that feel, that feel to use Bond of Life. So, I don't know if that works for her or not. Just, she, she does not do it herself. It is impacted on her. I don't know if that works. I guess we'll see. She sits on a throne of flames. <laughs> not La Senora, though. Um... I really like her side. So see. She's not hurt by the flames though. This is interesting. Uh she's she's affected by pyro, but not not really too bad. <laughs> and she's going to patch a mean punch, that's for sure. What I'm more interested in, obviously, is four. Okay. Um, let's have a look. See? There was a symbol here. Um, uh, to get it right. Wait, here. This symbol here means that you've put the blood deck directives, or that is, this is the actual, the actual bond of life activated, or the master of red death state, I don't know. We'll have to see in game how that works. Right. Uh, after that, so of course we have the event wishes for the first part, which are on the Chino, the Halves, Ash, and Shadow, and Linny, which is interesting because it's literally the father and uh, in a child, not child, child, but. A child. <laughs> so this is the phase one. And that weapon is so cool. Crimson Moon Semblance. is a pull arm. So Alatrino is a pull arm user. Maybe there are some alternatives if you don't want to uh, pull for a signature weapon. Uh, but I don't know which are the what are the pull ones that will be um, beneficial to Alicino, not this one. I guess we'll have to see. I'm sure that when we go to Natlin, there will definitely be pull arms that are <laughs> suited. For pyro well, I'm users, but I have to see. And in the phase two, uh, the event wishes, we have Wanderer and Batch. 
for a long time. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Baizu. I'm sure people are going to be pulling for Wanderer. And Baizu, maybe, yeah. All depends on you guys. After that, obviously. This is a sick artwork, by the way. But the knave is the new world boss. Such a sick art. Literally. It's literally like uh, um, a fallen angel. Angel of flames. It's not like a... Uh, <laughs> like a, a butterfly of death like uh, Signora was but crazy so is she only pure flames or like I mean uh, every single Fatui Harbingers I think do have like um, a vision and a delusion so I suppose that the her vision is Iro, but if she has a delusion, be Hydro or Bio, I don't know. It has to be it has to be the polar opposite. We don't. Um. With that. The moves though. <laughs> this is the claw. I would have liked to see uh, the um, the outfit that she used uh, when she tried to kill um, Verena. But this outfit, I mean, this uh, outfit, <laughs> this outfit is really cool as well. Don't get me wrong. It's like, uh, it's like the, the winds are like uh, a Pokemon that I don't know about. <laughs> We have to pay attention, close attention in this fight. Because uh, she can really summon meteors. <laughs> can you understand? <laughs> the temperature that will be in that fight will be hot as hell. No pun intended. Um, but, uh... She can she can void attacks. Pain. I mean, it's only fitting for number fourth, the fourth of the harbingers. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Here, the bond of life. She's really tainty as well. Although, Lini seems to deal some interesting damage. Wow, there's a laser beam. <laughs> Not going to spoil myself too much, though. Although I think I did did that already, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, these are the new artifact set for version four point four point six. So I have the unfinished reverie, uh, and the fragment of Omnic. I think one of the two might be interesting artifact set for. Uh, Alicino, but uh, I think the Crimson Witch of Flames might be a good one as well. But it all depends. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, of course, Act 2, Act 2, uh, for Sino Story Quest is going to be available in this new version. So, quite excited about that. As I said, um, 
I think that it's going to be a, a match between Herman Abyss and uh, this uh, guy, this uh, compadre that we see. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to see how it all develops. It's going to be insane. Right, and after that, Ancient Code. That new area showcase. So, about that. Undersea capital, the lost homeland. The wide waters that lie south of the great terrestrial lake were also once an integral part of that high sea. I'm really trying to understand that for a sentence though. Uh, wide waters that lie south of the great terrestrial lake. South, okay. Were also once an integral part of that high sea. Okay. But beneath the abyssal depths, the, the abyssal depths, though, and touched by sunlight, the first of dreams and hopes lie buried. Long forgotten symphony sounds once more amid the stronghold of dim glories and the sea sunken ruins. A new chapter in the tale, long ended, is about to be written. Right, so as they said, I'm going to put this here. We'll look. Area of Fontaine. Our builders get to visit the village of Petrachor. Seems like this one is missing a head, though. <laughs> yeah. This one as well, I think. No, 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 this one has a head. This one doesn't. Would there even be much to see on such a small island? Yeah, well, small island is a bit of a... bit of a stretch. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, guess... Well, guess this. This is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? Yeah, confidently, that's for sure. Um, wait to visit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. There's definitely more to this village than me to the eye, right? Indeed, indeed. Where the kingdom of Remoria's remain lay at rest. We're following the whale. <laughs> that's how. That's how we go to this this uh, nation. We're following the whale, and there was also a cat with a necklace. Talking cat, it seems. Yeah. See. So we we <laughs> we follow a whale, but we're also uh, accompanied by a talking cat. Seems to have uh, some sort of uh, power. I don't know why now, but bums. <clears throat> but bigger, indeed. Now that's an trick. We'll meet a touching chat. As yeah, so, or. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. Interesting. Yeah, this is going to be so amazing to see. Anything for a talking chat? <laughs> you betcha. In Remus composed a symphony. Yeah. One with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Matt saying yes, I'm getting I'm getting uh I'm I I actually I don't get it. <laughs> so this is maybe the this is symphony? With uh, all the souls, souls that wishes of the human soul.
So you'll just have to learn about this symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Right. So beautiful. But what I don't understand is we were following the whale for drowning by the Russian jazz, right? So, oh, I see a viewpoint here, by the way. Um, but if we were following the whale, is it like a spirit of the whale that is strapped here? And we're just uh, following from her consciousness, or? But you'll arrive at the Ramoya ruins with a chat. Right. Kingdom's rem remnants of the slumber in depths where the sunlight can't reach. Yeah. We'll meet a, we'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <laughs> Badgin. Wow. Oh, not the Hydro Dragon, obviously, but you know. Not the Hydro Dragon Sovereign. <laughs> you know, Villette wouldn't want to <laughs> you get to that point. Yeah, so you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony. It will help you explore the lost realm of Remoria. Able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. And also unseal time. And also unseal time in places where it stopped. So these powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. Well, there's a lot of puzzles. But that's what I get from that. No, that might be useful for some puzzles during adventure. That too. Yeah, so we have a something like that. That would be uh, useful for doing the time, such in time places. Totally. Well, meanwhile, Grotten statue sits in the rest in the recess of the faded castle. Yeah. Watson statue sits in the recess of the faded castle. So, statue of marble and brass. So, a majestic colossus is stilted from marble and brass, displaying the immortality and glory of a great civilization of old. Now, the statue stands slumbering within the undersea faded castle, awaiting the arrival of one who dares challenge the majesty. Wow. This is going to be a fight. <laughs> so, these melodies are Pyro. Wait to wire who would then challenge the Mass to. Right. I understand that. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it. Challenge. Right. Like <laughs> I, this 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 is so interesting. So I think this is the first time we have a look at him. Like a cinematic or something. So it says moves and then my eyes are set on you. Ah. Like Pyro, right? But, yeah. Pyro melodies. Um, so this is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest prologue, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, right? Well, Automatically unlock a teleport waypoint, village of Petrator. Oh, I see. So, yeah, uh, apparently, 
um, this whole blotch that was in uh, Fontaine and uh, Liyue, where um, Liyue, yeah, between Liyue and Sumeru, this whole blotch is in fact where the the ancient civilization of uh, Moria and the village of Petrachor are. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's the whole thing. But yeah. Go straight there. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> and now outside of the region. Outside of the region, well... Let's, um... See that, uh... And get a free draw row, as I said, and we'll be going on a tour. And not any tour, but iridescent Arataki rotting full life through the force of awesomeness. Inazuma. And we will have also the new instrument, the Nightwind Horn. Have Yai Miko. Uh, Heizo, Shinobu, Yonia, one, so obviously, Nuchis. <laughs> oh, also these, and uh, Dvorak, I think. Wait, on a certain day, you and Paimon received an invitation sent by one Aratachi Ito. One, Re sent by one Aratachi Ito. Or the one and only, and only Artajito, inviting you to take part in, in, in an event. Spurred onward by the unbridled passion within, embarked on a journey to Watatsumi Island. So, yeah, it is in Watatsumi Island. Yep. And Matt said that he um, had a lot of fun with this event. I mean, um, voice acting for this event. So I can't wait to, to see what it's all about. Alright, let's have a look. Um, Dvorak. So yeah, I was right. I was right. You were a decent tour. We were... Yeah, we... We were accustomed to, to uh, the iridescent tour members uh, before. Tour the fort <laughs> for the ages. Rock and roll feeling. It's an event quest. So, yeah, we'll have this instrument. And we will, at the end of Genshin Impact, when eventually comes to the end, if I don't know how, but um, yeah, <laughs> we'll have no. Um, a whole symphony, symphony, orchestral symphony, yeah. Uh, and this is going to be amazing. It's stream number one. It's stream carnival as a sum ensemble. Yeah, three times that. Brilliant trinket troll. Okay. Um. Don't have to get special things. Don't have a party with that adoring fan, so we gotta, we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Uh. Oh, also, um, Wind Trace is back. <laughs> Wind Trace Stitches and Strategy, a game that passes down Mondstadt's history, Wind Trace. Trace is open once more in a new form. Play as the resisting rebels and invade captured by the hunter and by the aristocracy by competing against one another in the tested zone. Of the hour of the hunt ends and obtain winter's core gain to earn various rewards. And you have these uh, machines that the repair signaling devices that you Repairing, but it'll be uh, 
you'll be uh, lit so that <laughs> the hunters will know that you are repairing said machine or said device. So it's be a thrilling experience, I suppose. Also, the specially shaped Saurian search. So, one day you and Paimon receive a mysterious commission from the adventurous group. The Tatanist wanted to set off on a new journey searching for wondrous companions. Match, switch. Here. All right. Uh, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. Do you mean rather strange? Uh, what I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and in. he wants to make friends with a pyroregisvine, and not just a pyroregisvine. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, Regis Vine, uh, Primo Geovish app. Lots of uh, interesting uh, friends. Uh -huh. And he, all, he also wants to befriend, as I said, Primo Geovish app, and the Jade Plume Terror Shroom, and the Millennial Per Horse. He's uh, right on his head. <laughs> but what is even more crazy, crazier, what is crazier than that is the fact that he went on a trip to Natalie not long ago. So yeah, and with this event, uh, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natalie I started getting some ideas. We are getting slowly but surely threat drums regarding Natlin. A truly amazing place. If I had to describe its marvelous novelty, it would be like the first time I ate cherry spice cherry spicy enough to make me rain sweat. I thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. Uh, bets you didn't know this, but people of Natlin, especially their warriors, dress in, in, in imitation of their Saurians. When in full panoply, they look every bit as brave. Like how people from Natlin have Saurian companions. So Saurian companions are like uh, are creatures that are, that are powerful, just <laughs> pyroregisvites. Primo Geo Bishop, um, Jake, Play Jake Plume Terror Shroom, and uh, Millennial Pearl Seahorse. Right, having that as a companion is absolutely crazy in itself. It made Saint kind of. Wait, did you say it came back from now? Yeah, he did. I made myself a hat based on those of my Natalie friends. Pretty awesome, eh? All right. Um, you know the details. Yep. So in the gameplay, of course, we got this This guy's name is Ranjit, and you have a. Uh, Normal, hard, and fearless difficulty. And uh, you can get some negotiation strategies to, well, get some more rewards based on the actual score that you find it shot, shot by fire. Both active strategies and long term strategies are available. Yeah. You have to be cheerful. Depending on uh, if you want to push yourself to the limit to see how far you can go so the event for you and moving on uh, we have the vibro crystal application that is amazing i know i know that this event was is quite popular 
in I can't wait to see what is in store. I don't I don't remember if I actually done it before. I don't think I did. And if I did, then I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Um you guys already know what whatever crystal applications are. So I'm not going to have a look at the album. This is for myself. Comes out. Also, in the TCG card game, we have the Emperor of Iron Iron Clad, the Iron Clad Emperor. I don't know. Uh, Farzan, Shinobu, and an, an Abyss Herald. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, crazy. <clears throat> Overflowing mastery as well. And, um, and there were some system optimizations. First, for, so for your serenity pot optimizations, you have add, add the quick obtain function for repertoires and missing furnishings for furnishing sets. Adds this chance for certain finishings and blueprints in the realm depot and increases the purchase limits of items in the furnishing shop. Great. Optimizes the create furnishing module and increases the max, maximum number of creation chances. It's also great. <laughs> for all these uh, Serenity Pot veterans, well, you know, <laughs> this is really cool. As the filtering and search functions from the post furnishing. Finishing blueprint tabs. This is the realm music interface. Also cool. Okay. So here you know, see how in forward the exchange. That's cool. Also, it's a bit. So you have 10 slots for this. The avatar, the avatar system changed as well. And you see that uh, we have some more avatar at our disposal. This this is incredible. <laughs> this is so incredible. Lilipar, Arama, <laughs> Jet and Ben Ben, Rue, uh, Passive, Alinas, have a. Um, what's his name? The <laughs> Caterpillar. I have these guys as well. This is so amazing. I hope they I hope they get more because this is not pushed to the end. There's there should be more. Ainishi Mikochi, yeah. Hirsch. Nice to uh oh that that is going to be incredible. That was going to help that is going to be, to help me so much. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. So you'll have a way to know where <laughs> the remaining uh, chests are. The drum passes will also include information about different map rooms. Oh, okay, okay. So that's way more intuitive. So it's for the drum pass. Great. <laughs> Ninety-nine percent exploration progress. Yeah, I do have that a lot. And uh, finish. We have the Chantus Eternus album. The album. So this is the third Fontaine OS the album. It will be available soon. And the home team had done it again. 
and a composer multiple tracks and what is an original composition for the new fontaine areas and the village content full point tips but yeah that is all related to the 4.6 special program like i said <laughs> a deep <laughs> deep down analysis of uh all of the things regarding version 4.6 honestly it's quite cited and i can't wait to go for all chino because she is a boss she's uh the definition of badass dude and um yeah i can't wait for it and also there's a lot of lore that is going to be uncovered in the match so yeah i can't wait I can't wait but um yeah let me guys know what you thought in the comment section down below regarding this uh, version 4.6 special program. Are you excited? What is your most um, well, preemptive uh, thought regarding one or several events regarding version 4.6? And who are you going to pull for? Alashino? Are you saving for Wanderer? Or for Lini? For Baiju? And um, are you excited for the last civilization of Remoria? in the village of better chore i don't know tell me about all about it down below in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer to you in due time that said yeah now it's time to switch back to the game and continue with hangout with net